Now, have you been wondering how to dominate season eight on keyboard and mouse and win every game? Well, you've come to the right place. This meta is one of the hardest metas that you need to adapt to, and your KBM settings have a huge impact on your season eight gameplay. What's going on, guys? Listen, I am back again. I'm pumped up for season eight. Your motivation guy is here to motivate you, man, to be the best gamer, to be the best person, to be the best Fortnite player that you can possibly be. And I'm so excited that you're joining us today. Listen, today, I'm going to show you guys the best keyboard and mouse settings and, you know, really just the sensitivity that you can use to dominate the new season and be ahead of the meta. After watching this video, you're going to know everything that you need to know on finding the best keyboard and mouse settings and sensitivity and keybinds. All right, speaking of which, this is our question of the day. As a keyboard and mouse player, like, do you think the charge shotgun is better for KBM players or the pump shotgun? Let us know and we're going to do this. All right, here we go, guys. Let's get this going. So after playing a couple of games of Fortnite Season 8, man, I bet you guys could already tell the meta has changed a lot. Like, just like every season this chapter, the shotgun meta keeps changing back and forth. And this season, the charged shotgun has been brought back and the attacks are vaulted. So now that charged shotguns are back and pumps and levers are still in the game, being able to adapt to the new meta and be versatile by using the best sensitivity is very important. For this season, we recommend having a medium sensitivity that really allows you to both build and edit fast and beam players. High sensitivities may have its pros and cons, but having the ability to adjust leads to success. In Chapter 2 Season 8, having low to medium sensitivities are definitely like the most optimal for competitive gameplay. Alright, so just make sure that you guys pay attention closely as of all these sensitivities will be corresponding with 800 DPI, which is your mouse's raw sensitivity outside of Fortnite. Keeping your X and Y sensitivity at a low to medium range is the best choice and is the reason why most pros do the same. You know, a perfect sense that many pros use is 8.0 on both their X and Y axis. This is considered the perfect sensitivity because it's just right between the low and medium range and really just allows pros like Booga and Benji Fishy to have the perfect mix of fast mechanics and accurate aim. However, many top tier professional players have started to use higher sensitivities just because of the advantages it really brings. You know, some pro players play on 10%, which allows them to have extremely fast movement. High sensitivity is definitely the way for players with amazing mouse control, so make sure to practice before you can choose this route. You know, scope and targeting sensitivity varies along many pros and preferences, but keeping around 30 to 40% is definitely the most optimal way to track your opponents perfectly. With this sensitivity, you can easily laser players out of the sky, or if they're moving quickly. This also allows you to have better shotgun aim when aiming down sights, and overall allows you to hit for more damage, just like your X and Y senses, like keeping both numbers at the same percentage is better than having separate sensitivities, but you know, can also be a preference depending on your play style and capability. All right, so another small part in the sensitivity section that does not affect your gameplay at all is the ignore gamepad input setting and lock input as mouse. Just keep those both on just in case you have a controller connected simultaneously. Keep your aircraft sensitivity at 100% just in case planes are added back to competitive modes and keep your invert controls off. All right, guys, so to narrow down on the perfect sensitivity, copying another pro sensitivity is very useful. You know, pros are always looking to play at their best and their settings are tailored to help them do so. However, changing it to your preference is the key to improving and playing at your best. So don't feel that you need to clone someone else, all right? And, and you know, because everybody has different strengths and weaknesses, right? So just make sure to use all of our tips and recommendations to help you find your perfect sense and really just utilize pro guys to the fullest. All right, so real quick, make sure to check out Clix's new master course right now on ProGuys.com because we, you know, we also have pro coaches tailored to help you guys improve quickly. So click the link below or top right to get started today. You know, having the perfect key binds is extremely confusing to players when they first start playing on keyboard and mouse. A huge mistake a lot of players make is using key binds that are close to each other rather than key binds that are fully optimal. You know, when having key binds that are very close to each other, you know, it's most likely that you're going to have to use the same finger to press all of them. This may seem easy, but it's definitely going to limit the way you edit and your movement while building. And so to have the perfect key binds. You got to use key binds, man, that allow you to move around and build at the same time, right? Like this allows your mechanical still to be at its fullest and really make sure that you're never going to have to lose momentum when engaging in a build heavy fight. So as of now, like the best way to have optimal key binds is by putting your wall and your ramp on your side mouse buttons. This allows you
allows you to have more space on your keyboard and really helps your fingers move across your keyboard smoothly. The reason most pros put their wall and ramp on their mouse button is because this allows you to move around, to jump, to crouch, and to pull out your pickaxe while building. So depending on your edit bind, put your floor to C or F and your cone to left shift. Along with this, changing your edit bind to E or F is definitely the move as they are easily reachable. So put your trap bind to T as it is the closest bind right next to your reload. Along with this, change your ping bind to X as you still have an extra bind left to use. And so after just playing a couple hours on these binds, you could definitely notice a huge difference in how easily you can build, strafe, and edit simultaneously. Your weapon key binds don't usually affect you too much, but always just try to switch off the number keys. Like after copying down these binds, you're gonna have many key binds that you can still use. Like normal, like keeping your pickaxe bound at one is fine, and you can choose to use two, three, four, and five for your next slots. However, you still have a lot of extra key binds, so put your last slot at V and your fourth slot at G. And this allows you to press every bind efficiently and it helps you arrange your weapons in any way of importance that you want. Just remember, man, like further along in the video, we're gonna be showing you guys some bind tips that remove your scroll wheel completely. Just So just make sure that you're used to pressing weapon binds instead of scrolling. Weapon binds don't affect you too much and you, know, you can definitely adjust each one to your preference as long as you don't need to scroll. So there are many extra key binds and settings that you need to use for both competitive and creative gameplay. First up, it's the best advantage that you can have over a controller player, scroll wheel reset. Scroll wheel reset is the fastest way to reset your build. It allows you to reset multiple builds by just scrolling down. To so use scroll wheel reset, use your secondary key bind for your building edit and change it to scroll wheel down or up. For now, we recommend scroll wheel down. After, just change your secondary bind for reset building edit to scroll wheel down as well. And really that's it. For a more in-depth video on using scroll wheel reset, check this video out. In our main key bind section, you may be wondering what bind to change your use key bind to after using E as your edit bind. But don't fear guys, your motivation guy is here. You know, we got the perfect solution for you. All right, so scroll wheel pickup is a huge advantage that almost every pro uses, especially after Stark Industries was in the game. This allows you to pick up every item in a split of a second just by scrolling repetitively. So to use scroll wheel pickup as your bind, just change your secondary bind for use to scroll up. After doing that, just remember to just keep scrolling up when 50 50 a chest or just battling your teammates and just stealing the loot. Okay, so as we move backwards to our settings tab, there's many settings that you need to enable. Turn on sprint by default as it allows you to sprint at all times and allows your hand to move freely. Also, turn on auto open doors. This setting allows you to walk through doors without actually having to use any bind and it really saves you a lot of time. Further on, turn on sort consumables to the right, but you know, just make sure that you're used to putting all your consumables on the right side of your inventory slots. As soon as you pick up a consumable, they automatically get sorted to the right most side, which saves you a lot of time. Okay, so another setting that you should try to use is confirm edit on release. This setting is fully a preference and it can really just mess with your crosshair placement if used incorrectly. Edit on release saves you time and so uh, it can also be tricky to fully learn at first. Lastly, make sure that you disable your pre-edits as this can really mess you up a lot while fighting. Alright guys, so to recap this video, remember to copy down these settings and practice with them. I'm telling you, learning the new season is going to be absolutely easy with your new binds and just make sure that you fully adapt to them. Never get demotivated and I'm telling you, just know that after fully learning these settings, you're going to be at the top of the season eight leaderboards. Our settings, tips and tricks will leave your opponents in the dust and allows you to dominate without your opponent standing a single chance. If you're still having trouble getting used to these binds, just make sure to remember that everybody starts at some point. You know, these optimal binds, just make sure that you played your fullest and you know, after mastering these binds, you're going to end up playing infinitely better. Speaking of which, you can always check out the rest of our channel for more tips and tricks. And if you guys like the video, make sure to sub to the channel. Once again, do not fear your motivation guy is here and uh you know connect me my instagram at your motivation guy i just love saying your motivation guy over and over again but anyways man keep going never quit never surrender no matter how many trials are in your way no matter you know how many walls no matter how many burdens you're carrying no matter what's going on in your mind or what's going on in your life i'm telling you you can do it believe in yourself or nobody will love you guys i am your biggest fan so don't let me down don't quit keep going i'll see you on the next one peace